Hello YouTube and welcome to the next episode of my F1 2014 career and we are finally better, no more illness so we can finally get episode 5 out of the way and where are we? We are in Catalonia in Spain in qualifying 2 the reason being we're in qualifying 2 is because we don't think that we're going to make it into Q3 at all um, so yeah, pretty much um, it's a matter of doing the best we can damage control as we did um, last time and try and get some good points because we will be on flesher tyres. So as we come into the last one, it looks a bit um, looks a bit warm. Uh, sorry, cold rather. It looks a bit cloudy. So maybe the tyre or the the um, tyres will be a bit colder and the track temperature will be a lot lower. So that, oh my god, um, it's probably going to be like China, where I'm going to have no grip because that's what it was like in Q1. So I'm really not expecting much. I mean, in China was horrible. China was just bleh. It was absolutely a nightmare. And this track isn't really that much different. You've got some gripping in Q1 if you are in, you know, you know, sector sector one. If you're really really precise, which I can be, and in sector two, which isn't that bad. But as soon as you get to sector three, it all goes downhill. There's just no grip whatsoever. I mean, I just did purple, but that's because obviously we're the first ones out on track. I love this corner because it can proper just chuck it in there, just like proper throw it about and it won't bite your head off, which is nice. Um, but let's just see how we go. Obviously, we've got the harder tyre, which is the option here. Um, this bit of the track is a bit touchy sometimes. You have to get it kind of right. Um, but for those of you who use a pad for this game, I hate you all because you will be able to fly past me in Sector 3. Because I'm in the steering wheel, same thing in China. No grip, no grip at all. Um, it's it's just hopeless. Um, you put down your foot on the gas like there, and I mean that that set two isn't that bad if I'm truly honest. But here, this is this is where I live, and we did a corner cut anyway, so that's invalid. So um, who cares? Um, but Grosjean does a 125. We was going to do a 120. What was that? 126.5 or something? Um, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. I mean, that's Grosjean. He's in a fucking Lotus, and that's in my like, 18th place in the championship. It's, you know, it's abysmal, embarrassing, and just oh, totally uncalled for. Button's just gone fastest, as usual, um, for this part of the um, qualifying. I don't know why. He always goes out first, and then he gets Q1. He's like, well, yes, I, I'm the world champion of 2009. I've done well for this part. And then he just gets his ass kicked by all the other teams. Um, of course, his career in question. Ooh. It's all going kind of up in, in the air at McLaren at the moment. Alonso's looking to uh, take his seat. But if I'm honest, why is he leaving? He's a 2009 champion. I mean, fair enough, he's a bit old. Everyone keeps saying that. Oh, he's an old man. No, but he's not really. Nowadays, fitness is as much as you put in, isn't it, really? That's all that you need to, when you're... You know, if anyone, if anyone wants to do something, all you need to do is train. And you can keep up with anyone no matter what their age is unless you you know you're like 60 years old and your legs are going to fall off in the next 10 minutes um you know there is a line i agree but he's you know he's only in his 30s he's he's fit and healthy he, alonso's the similar age he can you know and alonso's up there in the top you know top 10 and along with bun if you got a good car then he would he would be winning races no problem um but i mean magnuson's got half the points I think he's doing better in terms of qualifying or equal. I think it's just above better. I think they're kind of a few. He's got like two races or ahead in terms of qualifying. Oh, got a bit unsteady there. Stop it, McLaren. Stop it. Stop it. But anyway, yes. Um, but in terms of. Um, I'm just going to go back to carriage. But in terms of obviously the performance that Magnussen has been putting in, compared to Button, it's nothing. Button's winning, got double the points throughout all the races, especially with his most recent win, which is fourth place, obviously, in Brazil. That was fucking amazing. That was a great race as well. I mean, obviously, Rosberg winning is uh, going to make it a bit spicy in the last race. Obviously, double points. Um, so, uh, there's a few, obviously, things that can happen, but hopefully it's not going to come down to breakdown. Hopefully, it will come down to racing it out and actually having a decent time on track. And maybe a few things splashing it up. I don't know. Maybe like uh, I just hope Rosberg doesn't crash into the back of him like he did in his bar. That would just ruin the entire championship. 
because everyone's like, oh, is it, this is like, you know, like uh, James Hunt and, and uh, Nicky Lauda, you know, um, like, you know, it's the last race in Japan, you know, everyone's watching it, trying to find out who wins, and Hunt wins by one point, kind of thing, um, obviously, it's not going to happen with this, but, uh, you know, th you can you can sense the competition between them, that's what's good about it, they, they're not, they're not hiding it too well, you know, don't, even if they are hiding it, that is, but, you know, it's, it's still there, you can, you can sense it, like, they're still good friends, but secretly like, I'm going to kick your ass in the next race. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so, can't wait for next race. I'm going to watch it a thousand times. I need my fix. I need my Formula 1 fix. Twitchy eyes. But, um, obviously, back now to the game. Um, which, obviously, is... You know, I'm doing shit here. Um, I can't remember how McLaren did in Catalonia, actually. I, I don't know if they were... I don't think they did too well. It's obviously a high, high downforce track, and they severely lack that 100%. Um, but we're doing a 121 to. Oh my god. Um, we might, actually. Yes, we've done a 125. Well, we're going to go straight now to the race. Um, that's why you experience the darking out phase. And we are in 13th place overall on the grid. And we are about to go racing. And we're off and drawing out Vern and Kivet. Kivet are ahead with Satil in his. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, what's Satil drone, Dave? It's. Um, Salva. That's the one. It escaped my mind. And all oh, the pack. Oh my god. Jesus. That was a bit scary. But Button's on the left now. And they're coming through the first and second hand corners. Trying to squeeze through. And we got the left-hand Toro Rosso on there and the Ferrari of McLaren in 10th place. So we, we've made it one place, but it's not enough to be, for me to be happy. I need some points. So we're going to go down the inside like a boss and take ninth place. And all the cars are going to come out through their next corner into Sector 2. And Button is now behind. And we're going to dive down on the inside, take Holgenberg and his Force India. And we're now up to 8th place behind Bottas. So that's a good start, a few good places that are needed, maybe a bit of dive bombing, a bit cheeky in this game, but you can get away with it most of the time, considering we know we're going to be basically a bus stop um, for the rest of the pack, you know, we're going to be the safety car for this race, um, these early places are required, um, so I'll be happy if I get at least a few points I think, and we go deep into the tight left hand corner here, still behind Butter, so hopefully the traffic is going to slow him up. But we come through to sector three now. I think there's one of the Mercedes up ahead as well. It might be Rosberg. And we're doing well here. Come down, dive down the inside. That's an amazing camera angle. That is brilliant. A bit luggy though. That kind of ruined it. Um, but as we come into the end of lap one, we've made it up to seventh place. That's Hamilton, who is in sixth. We're struggling for grip as they come out the last corner and down onto the pit straight. Hulkenberg has now taken advantage, and all those cars are still nice and tightly packed. It's going to end in some pretty decent racing here, I think. But come down into lap two now, through the second sector. Hampton's getting away quite nicely. There's a bit of a gap in between him and fifth place, so we're probably not going to catch up. Our place is now going to be, I think, we're going to stick with seventh and try and do damage control from here on. So Hulkenberg is our target to beat. Um, our objective is to come tenth, so hopefully we can beat that. A bit twitchy on the way out of that corner there and come down, fling it into the left, tyres are squealing and back out again. So hopefully 17 laps to go, uh, what, last lap was a 136 which is modest for a first lap especially with the steering wheel, um, I don't, if you're faster than me and I'm on legendary mode I don't care. <laughs> and there are these nice little cameras, oh, onto the gravel there, look at it just spurting up at the back of the car and down to second gear and turn into the left hand small little kink that we have and back out again. Obviously this is where we lose a lot of pace for some reason in this game. The harder tyre is horrible. It's disgusting. I hate it. I want it burned. Pirelli should never make them ever again um, because these tyres are just absolutely just... they don't do their job. They don't grip at all. Um, but we have to do it because it's the Spanish Grand Prix and the temperatures are high and everything else is wrong. And Hulkenberg thinking about going down on the inside. I'm going to go defensive obviously we're on the outside line. But he's got the speed. Oh no, he backs off. He's backing off. He hasn't got it. And we come in and hold that place for the third lap. So, obviously, things are already starting to get a bit heated. Obviously, with, uh, that's without DRS being enabled. Um, obviously, it is now. Um, 
but um, things are already getting heated here and it's a very tight pack behind us. We are going to be the slowest car on track, no doubt. Um, so we've got to be very careful about how things go here. So coming down into the end of the second sector once and more, or halfway through at least. Um, and Hulkenberg seems to be retaining their gap. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. Through the first and the second sectors, I'm quite competitive. You know, nice little flowing track that you've got through that part. Um, I'm not doing anything wrong in terms of the lines are concerned. You know, the setup must be right in order to be consistent. It's not faster or slower than the other cars. Um, the setup, therefore, I'm guessing, is fine. And there's nothing that I can find to suggest, you know, you know how to get that extra grip for turn one without making the first and second sector extremely slow. Because, I mean, I was fiddling with the setup, obviously, in qualifying and practice. And um, either you, was ex you could, you know, just match what they were doing in sector three, but then be extremely slow in sectors one, two. And Hulkenberg comes down the left-hand side. He's now neck and neck as we come into turn one breaking heavily and we're oh he tries to stick it through but he doesn't manage and we come through into lap four Bottas has taken over obviously they fall back as he had the inside line which obviously gives him less of a turn in and less of a good racing line for that corner so Bottas moves in he's now one second behind in this Williams obviously a very good car for this year and it's going to be a bit more challenged maybe to hold off than the four cinder they've got a lot of strength line speed and good aerodynamics so we'll see how this game implements that so will the mclaren just you know fall back like a i don't know the turtle on its back you know just helpless um or will we be able to hold off or oh, it's a bit twitchy there as well but yes yeah, as i was saying will we just, what is bottas doing is he going to go around the outside of the track just go off and then undercut i don't know but um as I was saying earlier, I was fiddling with the setup. It was either you you had a um, a set a um, sector three that was modest and a horrible first and second sector, or you had a very good first and second sector and have a really rubbish third. So obviously, two sectors beats one sector. Even though the third sector absolutely is terrible, you know you're going to go with the two sectors because you're going to lose a lot more time, especially when there's a DRS zone. And Bottas is going right down the right-hand side. Oh, and my God, he's gone in front. We can't do anything. But we're going to try and go and attack again. And it's screeching as he goes through the first corner. That's, oh, my God. And we almost lose it on the way out of turn two. Coming into turn three, the long, windy row that it is. Or windy, windy corner. It goes all the way around. But we managed to hold them off. That's the corner. And the first sector is something that we're really good at here. And um, the car is absolutely... Mwah being a McLaren here but it's just that third sector and down the long pit straight where it's needed we needed that extra grip and that we just don't have any unfortunately to say um, which is costing us a lot of problems and we still got that damn flickering issue that we had in that China video I don't know how to get rid of it um, maybe it'll go when when I start publishing it I'll have a check when I upload it or something I don't know um, but that is really annoying um, I think it's where I tab out before I start a race or when I start recording I tab out and start recording or something or no to initiate recording system that's it um for apps oh Jesus corn cup and then I obviously have to tab back into the game and for some reason that results in black screen or black flashy screen so if you have this on PC now you know if you're getting it that's what you're doing wrong um, so hopefully it won't affect the YouTube video or the published version too much, I'm hoping. Um, Bottas is coming to have another go, but he's not going to be able to make it stick because I've got the inside line. Oh my god, was that contact? I think it was, and we squeeze him out, and yes, that was contact between us and Bottas, and he slowed right down to the speed of my own 1.2 car. So... Yes, not very Formula 1-ish going that speed. And a surprise, actually, that nobody actually took advantage. And I love these camera angles. That's the one thing that I like about this track after actually racing here. Was when I looked at the replay, because I always like to. Just I just like to watch, you know, how things panned out. It's always nice to see what it looked like from outside. The camera angles for here are actually pretty nice. Um, I had a few frame rate issues, because obviously the longitude, especially on this long straight, um, my computer isn't that good to handle, you know, all the fucking shadows and 
that kind of junk um, because I don't have I'm not a rich person and um, I spend most of my money on real cars as opposed to computer fantasy ones um, unfortunately I can't afford all the nice fancy computer stuff um, but anyway as I'm losing track here um, yes I you know some of the camera angles were really nice I mean at Bahrain they were absolute rubbish most of them were absolutely right. Where the most of the action was, the camera angles were just junk. Except through the Sector 3, mostly. And the first corner. That was a nice one. Um, but Bottas having another go. Same routine again. Nice little side camera there. And dive down the inside once more. And scooting through. I mean, we are torturing these tyres. But we come up to lap 7 now. I don't really know what kind of health they're going to be on the tyres. But, uh... Whoa, was on the curb there. Oh, wanted to go inside, but... As you can see here, we're using our fuel very carefully. We're using it, the rich mode, on the straight and having standard everywhere else. The reason for that is we don't want to wheel spin everywhere. And secondly, we need the power for the straight anyway. Because we would be... I mean, look at, look at the trail behind us. Every other car has like, got at least a, you know, a second gap in between. And then there's everyone that's behind me. There's one, two, three, four, five, six... I think there's seven cars behind me just stuck. And actually, there's there's now 18, 17 cars, so there's been quite a few retirements. Um, dun dun dun, I wonder who that is. We'll have a look after the race. But um, obviously, the rest of the pack is now flying ahead. We have no hope in hell of ever catching anyone. So it's just damage control, as I predicted. We're going to have to basically go into the pits. Perfect timing needs to be done. McLaren, if you fuck up my, my pit stop, I will murder every single one of you. Um, because we need to beat Jensen Button. Oh, Jesus. Went the gas very early. But look at the tyres. They're just horrible. But we're going to stay out an extra time. Because we was due in one lap earlier. But we're just going to try and hold it out. Hulkenberg is coming down the inside. Because Bottas has gone into the pits. Um, I don't know. It's a big risk. Because hopefully I will be able to stay out a bit longer. As we come through the first corner. Lovely camera angle once again. And Hulkenberg is neck and neck. He's coming down into the third, fourth corner rather. And, oh, just managed to squeeze and he breaks early. But I dive into the first corner. Managed to get a green sector. How are you fucking guy that managed that? God knows. Especially on these old tyres as well. Maybe it's because everyone else has started going into the pits and it's altered the pace a bit. But, um, I don't know. Because I'm thinking if we go really deep on these tyres in terms of, obviously, the race strategy, then we can have a nice option tyres and just floor it for the race. But um, I'm not too sure that these tyres can last because we're already struggling extremely badly. Um, Hulkenberg's obviously on my rear side. I mean, look, Sector 2, green. Sector 1, green. And then Sector 3, I hate Sector 3. I hate this track. And I hate this this last sector. Um, there's just no... No, it's just non-existent. You know, it's just like ice skating. Do you want to go ice skating in Sector 3 and then McLaren, right? Oh, yes. Why not? Uh, Hulkenberg goes in, does, uh, Williams I think goes in, and Button goes in, and Ferrari go in. So we're going to try and jump some people here. Up into fifth, fourth, third place with Hamilton and Ricciardo in first and second place. Um, obviously it hasn't updated yet on the thing, but it says I'm in third with Kvyat in fourth. So this is going to be quite interesting because obviously all the cars have now gone in on fresh rubber. And we'll see how things go in that. We can see the tyre degradation on the left front. That's quite bad. Like, really bad. He's actually, and then there's the on the right tyre. It looks quite worn as well. And we're skidding, even though that should not have happened. So, we really need some new tyres in it. friends messaging me in the middle of a race does he want to die I think so I mean that was 0.4 seconds faster go away oh look at these rears look at those rears on the indicators they're like dark orange they are really bad we need to pit immediately um, I think we're going to have to go in. I mean, I don't want to. I want to stay out. But I think we're going to have to. Because the tyres are just so bad. And Kvyat is behind. So, um, 
So we're going on the longer tyre. This was our option. So, um, yeah. I mean, we're already down to seventh place, and that was what we was in an eighth, so we've missed out. This was a bad strategy. I'm hoping that it may pay off. No, we're in eighth. Is that eighth? Oh, my God, I don't even know anymore. Quick, who's coming through? And that's the two cars of Perez and Hulkenberg, and they go through. But Jensen Button is neck and neck with my car, and we come through into the first corner, and we're some so close with those front wings. We're so lucky we didn't make contact. That was really intense. But now it's a teammate battle on the go. We're in 10th place. He's just outside of the points. So if we just need to keep this place, we will meet our objective. So, But we're on cold tyres. He is on warmer tyres. So we'll see how this actually pans out. So Jensen probably won't be happy about this. He'll probably come on the radio and go, What's he doing? But nevertheless, we now have a still smaller, but still quite long train of cars behind us. A few of them have escaped the long, enduring train set, you know, follow the leader. But they've had enough playing that now, and they've clearly bypassed us from the pit stops. Hopefully, I'm not sure if maybe some people will go in. Maybe they're on a different strategy. Maybe they've gone on to Crohn's and then options later on. Who knows? Um, I hope so, because uh, that means more points for us, which is good for McLaren, because then Button will obviously move up as well. But, oh my god, he's right on my rear, and he's really pushing that McLaren now. So, oh god, we're both in the same car. Oh god, oh god, he's coming. Oh shit. No, you don't. Get back. You're not winning the teammate challenge. No, 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 you're not. Obviously, hopefully our tyres have warmed up now, but we have another six laps to go. And the pace is really nice, but obviously it's because pit stops are present. That doesn't mean anything. Um, obviously, this is our best sector. Sector 1 usually is in most of the cases with Codemaster games. And then you just plumb it near in the middle or set or third, depending on what track it is. They go, oh, well done, that was a really nice first sector. Oh, you fucked it up, because we can't be asked to make the cars realistic. And we need to make the AI seem more challenging. So, instead of making the AI more good in terms of driving, they think, oh, yes, we'll just make sector one extremely good, and then we'll just punish the player in another sector to make up for the AI's incompetence. Um, but, oh, my God, that's a lot of loss. I mean, these are new tyres, man. Where's the grip? This is the same as China. Nothing we can do except pray and kiss our ass. Coming into lap 12 now, buttons coming up from this industry. We both go to the right hand side of the trap. He is not going to get past even if I let him. And he goes down to the outside. He's neck and neck. Fucking ram him! Ram him! Yes! And he's off! He's in safe! No! I don't know if he's still fighting through. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yes. That's what you get for messing. We actually got away <laughs> with nothing there. I can't believe we got away with that. That was um That wasn't on purpose. Um even though I said ram him, that wasn't actually intentional. Um I would never do that to my teammate. Button's a good guy. Um, you know, we work as a team. Um, his points are my points so to speak so I would never intentionally ram him off the track at the first corner to Catalonia um, after saying that I would ram him <laughs> God. I'm not a very good liar also to add on to these recent comments um, but obviously Button in the back now it's a nice little camera angle here coming through sector 3 as the cars come through and Climb the small hill and back down again into sector three. This is a really nice camera angle. It's, it'll be an amazing overtake camera like we had at the start of the race when we overtook Bottas. But he's now probably flying ahead in his Williams again. But down into the end of lap 12 and starts a new lap 13. Button's going to try another again. Try another again. Try another time to go down on the left-hand side. But he hasn't got enough pace this time by looks of things. He backs off. 
Uh, he doesn't want to be rammed again, does he? No. He's learned his lesson. Good boy. Stay back. No, he's trying to come down on the inside. And he loses out to Kvyat. Kvyat takes 10th place. That's not what I wanted to see. I wanted to have a nice little teammate battle to the end without any further ramming incidents. Um, but Button's fallen back two places now. He's into 12th. What have I done? I've ruined his race. But um, that's not what we wanted to see. We wanted to see him up in the in 10th place. So we'd both get some points for the team. Um, I would get two and he would get one. Making a total of four. <laughs> well, see, I am joking when I say that. In case of those of you who don't understand what the word sarcasm means. But coming down now into sector three, we're going green pacey. We're, we're consistent in the first two sectors. Uh, Kvyat is keeping a modest 0.5 seconds behind. But that will obviously soon change when we come into this horrible sector here. And soon coming up to... I just want this race over, if I'm truly honest. I usually do when it's uncompetitive. Obviously, no driver likes being uncompetitive. When they are uncompetitive, they simply want to just damage control and want it over and done with as soon as possible. So coming into lap 14 now, almost at the end of the race, into rich mode as we go. We've still got a few bit, a bit of spare fuel. I really am just praying that Button will make it back up into 10th place. second sector in three two one and now and that's 0.8 seconds faster off the pace oh yeah who's the man and Kvyat is still quite crushly behind he's 0.3 seconds behind now so uh, oh tire squeal we don't like that and please go away stupid flick flickering screen I don't know if anyone else gets that if you do then please let me know in case it's just something that's wrong with my Sony Vegas publishing system um, but I don't know I don't know what's wrong with it I'll have to have a look into it see if anyone else has the same problem but anyway down into sector 3 now and we are 0.5 seconds ahead of the normal pace that's probably because everyone is stuck in a train behind me right now um, and it, probably even the caterums have faster pace if I'm truly honest um, so highly annoying very highly annoying I mean, best is a 126.5. That's a whole 1.5 seconds off the pace in terms of our qualifying times. But then, of course, we did have DRS, so that would benefit that. Um, but Kavir is 0.76 behind. So, oh, yawning, while rating, not good. Um, so, you know, let's see how things go in the last two laps of this race. Obviously, we've got three laps, including this one. So, before you make any comments of being smart ass, But 0.2 seconds behind the pace now. So, obviously, things have changed. They zoom past and down into this second hand, second gear left hand corner. And down the hill. And only to go back up it again. It's quite tiresome. We must use a lot of engine life on these, on this track. Because obviously, it's going downhill, then uphill. There's a lot, obviously, the pistons have got to work hard to go uphill. And then they get overdrive when they go downhill because obviously gravity is on their side. Um, so, must have some sort of toll. I guess it's not much more than any other track. I'm probably just talking out my arse right now. Um, but as we come into the end of lap 15, Button is still not made up those places. I'm very ashamed of you, boy. You know, you're getting beaten by Kvyat. He's in his rookie year. That's uh, just indespicable. Obviously, Kvyat going to Red Bull next year. Lucky bastard he is. One of the youngest persons to ever bloody have a top team. Um, well, probably not. I'm sure there is one person. I'm not too sure. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm jealous. So I'm going to insult him. Um, but lucky, you know, good for him if he's got Red Bull. Let's just hope that they um, they have a decent car next year. I mean, obviously it wasn't that bad this year. But the Renault engine was their main downfall. So it's really bad news for them. Um... I'm really eager to see who's going to be kept at McLaren, i.e. Magnussen or Button. And also, what's the Honda engine going to be like? Oh, it's very interesting. Very exciting time to be in Formula 1. Obviously, all these changes um, are happening. All the drivers are switching around now. So, all the build-up to the next season, obviously, after Abu Dhabi. 
Um, obviously got next race, which is going to be exciting on its own, just because Hamilton and Rosberg will be there. Um, we want to see Button actually, if he's going to be out of Formula 1, you know, he's got to do something. Please just get third place or something, you know, something amazing just to go out with a bang. Um, but, you know, who knows, he may still be at McLaren, but if he is going to go out and just, you know, show his worth and just kick everyone's ass at Abu Dhabi if he can. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, and obviously, Honda is one of the best partnerships in motorsport when it obviously they won God knows how many races and podiums with McLaren and championship titles as well. So, um, God knows what that's going to go down. But in this race, we suck. Um, obviously, we're going to finish ninth. So, at least that's a few points in the bag. Um, we've kept Kvyat behind us, which is all nice and well. But Button has lost out on the points once more, which is bad news for us. And it's just a bad day at McLaren in general. Obviously, they would probably be looking, ideally, to come sixth between probably fourth and eighth, maybe. That would be an acceptable target, I think, for McLaren uh, for this year. But so much for Ron Dennis saying McLaren will win races this year. Obviously, that never happened. And Daniel Ricciardo has already finished giving us 2 minutes and 17 seconds to finish now um, the slow pace that we're keeping everyone behind we may not make that um, we may find ourselves all stranded out on race track um, in sector 3 obviously we have no grip in sector 3 so it may take us 2 minutes to navigate this, these few corners but um, at least we're going to take home a few points with us so let's just get these all done no funny business Oh, a bit skittish um, but we get the job done down into the final corner unless something explodes and across the line in now and it's ninth place in Catalonia beat our target even at why are you shaking your hands you're an embarrassment you know don't don't cheer for that please yo yeah, you beat your target um, and Jensen comes 12th obviously after that horrible piece of uh, maneuvering that he did in this third corner there but here are the results for the Catalonia race. Obviously, we come ninth, and Jensen Button is in 12th. We know that Daniel Ricciardo is in first, with Nico Rosberg in second, with Lewis Hamilton in third. Fernando Alonso and Sebastian Vettel fourth and fifth. Felipe Massa in sixth. Uh, Hockenberg in seventh, and Kimi Raikkonen in eighth. Kvyat comes tenth, with Roman Grosjean in eleventh. And obviously, us as obviously are missing us out because we've already counted. Um, then you've got John Eric Verne in 13th, Bradley Boss as in 14th, he did bad in his Williams. Pastor Maldonado in the Lotus is in 15th with Sergio Perez in 16th, Adrian Seltil in 17th with Gutierrez in 18th, Max Jilton, Marcus Ericsson and obviously June Kibayashi and the other person. So <coughs> in terms of the drivers, we are now 4th with 20, 51 points, we are minus 28 behind the leader. Daniel Ricciardi is leading this championship with Sebastian Vettel behind. Lewis Hamilton is in third, and Nico Rosberg is in fifth, and Fernando Alonso in sixth. Jensen Button is in eleventh with 19 points. Bad season for him. Pastor Maldonado, and obviously the Lotus in 17th. The last person in the list is actually a Russia of Max Chilton. He is a bit strange, though, isn't he? Let's be honest. And in terms of the Constructors' Championship, Red Bull lead with 155 points, with Mercedes Petronas with 118. McLaren, Mercedes. Are in third with 70, but we are neck and neck with Ferrari and are followed closely by Williams Racing. The rest of the field is not really that interesting. Caterham are in last with Marussia in second, as predicted. So I hope you guys did like this episode. If you did, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. There's many more to come now that I'm fully healthy human being now. Again, touch wood. Um, and I will see you next time when we go to the Monaco Grand Prix.